Any game, any weapon, any season, just hunt. Welcome to this week's choice. This week, we're yes. heading to the Buffet again. Yes, we're heading out to the Buffet. You know, everyone at home must think that all we she do is eat. She said Buffet. I finally <gasps> got her to say Buffet. It's Buffet. You oh said my gosh. She said Buffet. And you're the one that's Travis, not feeling well. Buffet. You're well, the one that's not feeling well. I can't believe I yeah, did that. Yeah, I got that. a cold oh. because, you know, if you... I'm allowed a mistake once in a while. Oh, yeah. Once in a while. This week on The Choice, what you want to do is you want to watch for the Plano. 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 Our bow cases. Yeah, the Plano logo for your lucky logo, and then we'll give you all the information on what you need to do to find out what happens there. But first, we're going to head up with John Bell up to yep. Manitoba. With Joel Penner. With Joel Penner, and he's got his Traditions Muzzleloader, and wait till you see oh. this bear that he come, that comes in on You know, him. we talk about bearing down, and you, this bear is a toad. A toad? A toad. I thought it was a bear. No, he's a toad. Okay, well, let's get going with the buffet. 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 That bear there is truly a butthead. People pay big money for sushi. It's only been 30 minutes, and I think we're just gonna wait till tomorrow morning and come and look for him because I don't want to take a chance of him getting up and running because he is a brute. Uh, we got in here a couple days ago, and the wind switched on us. We have to uh, actually climb out. You know, John's a great guy. He listened. If we want a bear like this, we got to do it all right, and he he didn't question it. And I mean, I knew there was a big bear on the bait. I didn't know that there was a Volkswagen on the bait. <laughs> Volkswagen's a tank. <laughs> I mean, John made a nice shot, but how do you miss? Look at the size of this thing. Put it this way, we're both like well in, I don't know, what are you, 230? I'm yeah. 230. Look at the size of this animal, it's huge. Unbelievable, what a great, <laughs> what a That's great an awesome bear. animal. But you, anybody, everybody needs to try. If you want to shoot black bear, come up to, inner jet, to the inner lake and talk to Joe Penner. Welcome back to the choice. Whoa, now he saved me. Woo. <laughs> Sorry. Now we're going to join Darren and Jake Beam as they go to Double G Outfitters in New Mexico. In New Mexico. Yes. You know, Travis is like homeboy town. Is that what it is? Yeah. Well, he's out there. He's guiding these he's guys. He's guiding. Yeah. So I'm he's surprised like, like, he's like when big he guy, when big he bugles, head. Yeah, he bugles a bull, how they could see or past him. I'm surprised this head just doesn't scare everything out of the country. They use Travis's head for cover. Oh, they use Travis's head. Oh, oh, that's why that's he's such a good why, guide. That's why he put the scent lock leafy hood on. Oh. Freddie, good, very good friend. Good job. That's well, let's one. get into their hunt. Hey, want a shrimp? Yeah. Shrimp. Eat your shrimp. Shrimp. Now, you eat it. I'm not. You handled my food. It's opening day in New Mexico. We're here with Double G Outfitters, Ron Gillespie and Gary Gillespie. 
and we're going to go chasing elk with a smoke pole, tradition smoke pole, and hopefully we have a good morning. Hey, Buckethead, I think you have some competition. There's three Pope and Youngers standing right there together. It's the fourth morning of our publicly New Mexico elk hunt. And Ron with Double G Outfitters just got us uh, going to a water hole. Which way are we going, Ron? We're going around this corner and up that draw about a half a mile. Yeah. Well, I still half mile walk this morning, which is actually pretty short compared to what we've been walking every morning. So uh, we got Travis behind the camera. We got two days left and two tags to fill. So instead of me filming, I uh, picked up my muzzleloader and Darren and I are both gonna both gonna hunt. So. Hey Jake, you finally have a chance at your elk. Don't. <laughs> Is it the sushi?
Hey, Jake, I guess it wasn't Ralph choking. I guess you did. Travis and I made a good stock and snuck up here and set up and, and I missed. You know, we've hunted hard and but Ron Gillespie's had his three bulls and three opportunities. Welcome back to the choice. You now know, when we talk about buffet, oh I should buff it. Oh, no, see now that time I, I got it. Now, oh, now see it's right, it's, it's buffet. But the big thing Not is buffet. is when you talk about a buffet show. Buffet. You talk about a variety. I mean, I mean, all kinds of choices. Well, what better way to go than with Steve Lewis out at Mali Yagama Safaris yes, in South in Africa. Africa? Yeah. Because it, I mean, Africa is. It's a the great true place for a buffet. Buffet. I mean, you'd be sitting in a buffet. blind and you could have okay. zebra, okay. gems, Just finish filling kundu. your plate up. I'm Just, hungry. I'm trying the sushi. It's just the first morning out. We just shot a real nice warthog. Uh, it's a real big pig. Probably 12, 13 inch teeth on him. Tusks on him. Uh, real nice way to start out the hunt. Made a real nice shot on him. He shouldn't go far. Well, Craig, thanks a lot. And the first day here and got this beautiful hog. Didn't go very far. Sure didn't. I mean, look at that. Yep. Yep. Bust him through the legs. Yeah, it's a good way to start things, so. Beautiful day, we couldn't ask for better weather, and big hog like this, and it's an old pig, big body, torn up ears, real battler, you know, and put a nice shot on him, go right down, real happy. Well, let's join Steve as he goes after a big, big kudu. Big. 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 Really big. Big buffet. Welcome back to the choice. Now we're gonna join our brand new member there at the office, Jenna, as she goes for her first wild hog. You go, girl. At Uncle Hoppy's with her muzzle loader. Okay. Okay. What? What is sushi? Sushi is raw fish. 
and why you would even put that on your plate, I don't know. Well, the guys told me to try it. Do you do everything it's the guys raw. tell you to do? It's raw fish. It's raw fish. You know, even though this is Jenna's first actual kill, she has that look of determination of any season hunter I have ever known. You go, girl. Travis, Freddie, Hoffy, thank you. Yeah. My first hunt and I get to kill a hunt. Awesome. <laughs> hey, we'll let her shoot another one if I get a hug like that again. <laughs> this is what we would consider a meat hog when people come down to hunt. Mm -hmm. It's a meat hog. He's a young boar. Um, I'm gonna guess he's a year and a half to two years old. Thank you so much. You bet. I did it with the muzzleloader for the first time. Well, you've done a good job. Let's go get the truck and, and go clean this thing. What are you going to have? I don't know. Uh, it's there. Hmm? That sushi's still not doing good for me. I told you not to do everything the guys tell you to do. Hey, we sure hope you enjoyed this week's show. Yeah, that sushi isn't doing well. You don't look like you're doing well. No. I feel like there's, like, fish swimming inside of me right now. <laughs> Oh no. But we hope you enjoyed this week's choice and we hope that you did look and find that flannel logo. If you did, you need to go to huntingnet.com slash the choice and fill out the information and someone is gonna get something special in the mail. Surprise! So we are glad that you joined us though this week. So we wanna thank you for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. Next week. What are you gonna no have? No more though? buffet shows. No more buffet no, shows. No, that, that stuff is not doing Just no more sushi.